Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Gutierrez and I am the music teacher here at Bailao Elementary. This is my 12th year being the music teacher here and about my ninth year teaching violin um, to my fifth graders. I'm really excited that your student decided to join the program because they are going to learn so much. And I hope I answer everybody's questions in this video. If not, all my information will be at the very end so that you can email or call me if you have any more questions. All right, our first day of violin is going to be on Tuesday, September 19th. Now, remember that violin is twice a week. So it's every Tuesday and every Thursday um, of the week. So these are the materials that you are going to need to be in the violin class. The very first thing is obviously your violin. My violin is a little bit bigger than maybe some of your kiddos will be. And we're going to talk about how to know uh, what size to get and everything. But you're going to need the violin. Next, it says the bow. This is the violin bow. It is really long. And I always tell my students to not touch this hair. This is actually horse hair from their tails. And I always tell them it doesn't hurt, hurt them. It's just like us getting a haircut. But we need to make sure that we are not touching or rubbing the horse hair because we all have oils on our hands and we don't want it to mess up the, um, the hair on the bow. Also, there's this little knob right here that you can twist. Please don't do that. If you twist it too much, the hair is going to bust. And if you twist it um, to make it looser, it is going to just, all the hair is gonna fall out. So please remember not to touch the bow hair and to not twist this little knob. I will twist this if I see that it needs to be tightened or loosened. The next thing is our rosin. This most likely will just come with the violin. It is like this like sticky stuff. They can be different colors. Sometimes they're black, sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're orange like this. But this is the stuff that we do rub on the horse hair to make it kind of sticky. Um, so whenever you rent your violin, just make sure that rosin comes with it, which it usually does. The next thing, which is really, really important, is the shoulder rest. This is what my shoulder rest looks like. Sometimes they can look a little bit different, but they have these little clips on the side and those clip on the back side of the violin to where whenever you're holding the violin, it doesn't hurt your shoulder because we have collarbones and the violin on your collarbone is not very comfortable. I know some kids um, don't like using the shoulder rest, but I always say even the most professional violin players in the world use shoulder rest because it helps with posture and it is comfortable once you get used to how it feels. And we have our book. This is what our book looks like. It is the essential elements for violin book one. Make sure you get violin and not viola. Viola is a little bit bigger um, string instrument. So we wanna make sure we get the violin book one essential elements. Now, sometimes the um, music stores run out of these at the beginning of the school year because everybody's trying to get it, but you can find these on Amazon, um, or the, the shops will get them back in stock. This is something you do not need right away. Um, I have some for the students to use until they do, or I can always make copies of it. So this is the book, Essential Elements, Book One, um, Violin. Now something that is um, optional is something called the Finger Guide Sticker. If you can see, I have these uh, four colors right here. It is a sticker that the shop put on my violin, and it does help me and the students know exactly where to put their fingers. Um, again, this is optional. It might help your student learn faster and more precise. But if you don't get one, I have some little stickers that I can also put in there um, for your kiddo. So the main things that you need for Tuesday, September 19th is your violin, your shoulder rest, and your bow. That is all that you will need by Tuesday. Um, I do receive a lot of questions about renting versus buying. And um, I always, always, always recommend to rent the violin. If you go to the shops, they will measure your student's arm. They will make sure that they get the right violin for, the, for your kiddo. Depending on how big or small they are, their violins are going to be different sizes. My violin is probably a lot larger than most of the kiddos that will be in my class. So... Renting, you can also get insurance on it if something happens. And there are also, also some shops that will do rent to own as well. I do have a list of shops nearby that I will be sending home with your kiddo. 
Um, so you can call around and maybe see what the best deal is. Now, if you're buying a violin, your student is gonna grow. Fifth grade to middle school, they're gonna hit this growth spurt and their violin might be too small. So that's why I always recommend to rent the violin. Plus, if you buy it like on Amazon or something, you're not gonna know if you get the right size. So if you have any questions on renting or buying, please message me. We have um, some concerts that are already scheduled. So our big Christmas showcase is on Thursday, December 7th. We're gonna have a show for the school, which is at 8.30 a.m. And then we do have an evening show for you and your family and friends to come and enjoy at 6.30 p.m. Now there is gonna be a spring show. We're tr still trying to figure out what the exact date will be, but I'm pretty sure it's either gonna be April or May. So um, I will get that out as soon as I um, figure out what the exact date will be. Um, one thing that is really big about violin is yes, we meet two times a week. So behavior expectations and attendance are very, very important. If there's a student that is misbehaving constantly, disrupting the class, this is an after school program. So if it becomes an issue and it's distracting myself or other students, obviously I will let you know. And if it continues, then maybe violin isn't the best thing for them. So just please talk to your kiddos about being respectful and um, having the best behavior in the violin class. Attendance, violin is an instrument. It's very hard to catch up when you get behind. So please make sure that your student is there twice a week. I do take attendance every time they come to class. And if a student is consistently missing and getting behind compared to the class, then um, you know I might have to say, you know what, violin isn't working out for you next uh, this time. So just please let me know if there is going to be an attendance issue. Just let me know as long as I know that something is going on or um, there's nobody there to pick them up. Just let me know. Okay. And, and we'll make it work. Dismissal. Violin is at four o'clock, not 430, not 445. So please make sure that if you are picking up your kiddo or somebody's picking up your kiddo to be here ready by four, we will be out in the front of the school by four o'clock. Now, if it becomes an issue, your kiddo is getting picked up after 415 multiple times, then we'll have to discuss that because um, I can't be staying after school that late every Tuesday and Thursday. So please um, keep that in consideration that um, your kiddo needs to be picked up by four o'clock. If you have any questions, please email me or call the school. If I don't answer, just leave a voice message um, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Again, I'm so excited about having your student in violin and you are gonna be amazed at how much they're going to learn in this class with their friends. So I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.